In this example, we are going to prepare a multiple linear regression model in Jump. And we have, in our data, we're trying to predict the price of a Toyota Corolla, and so we have prices or outcome variable. And we have various things like anti-lock anti brakes, and we have age in years, and we have how many kilometers are on the odometer, and a variety of different things. We also have already prepared our validation training column here that allows us to know which records will be used in training and which records will be used in validation. So that part has been done prior to this video. We also found out that central locks and power windows were very highly related and that we should eliminate one of them, we should eliminate central locks. So when we go do our modeling, we'll just not put in central locks as our predictor. And so when we are going to prepare our multiple linear regression model, we're going to go to fit model. Now, in the fit model dialog, you'll notice that there is a place to put our y variable. We don't initially see where we're going to put in our validation column, but once we select our outcome variable, then the validation column option becomes available and we can take our validation data and put it in there. Then we're going to take everything except central locks, and so I'm going to go ahead and unselect central locks. So I held my command key in Mac. If I was in Windows, it would be my control key that I would use to, and so I'll, now we'll add this in. All right, so now I have my outcome variable, my validation field set up, and then I have the items that I want to use as my predictors. Now I will run the model. Here's the report that comes up. So it shows me at the very top, it shows me the strength of the statistical relationship with the input variables and the outcome variable. And you can see that perhaps not surprisingly, the age in years has the strongest statistical relationship weight and the mileage is also very important. And if we look down here, we can see that all these are statistically significant except for these bottom four. So doors, air conditioning, tow bar, and metallic paint are not statistically significant in their relationship with their outcome variable. If we go and look down this report, and we have our R squared in our summary of fit, and we also have our root mean squared error and our adjusted R squared. This root mean squared error is not what we're used to when we're doing our data mining. This is really done for stat statisticians, and it is discounted for the number of variables that are being estimated and so forth. So this is not the root mean squared error and the R squared that we want to use. So just so you're not confused, don't be confused by that root, root mean squared error. All right. Analysis of variance basically says that you know our overall model is statistically significant. Here we have our parameter estimates. So these are our coefficients that have been estimated. And you can see that they're, again, they're all statistically significant except for these four that are not. And so here are our coefficients that we care about. And so that's helpful. And what we have in terms of modeling the overall model quality is we have our training and validation results here in this cross-validation panel. So we can see that our R squared in our training is 0.91 and it's 0.865 in our validation data. So there's a little bit of overfitting as there generally is between our training and our validation data. We can see down here what they call race. Race is really our root mean squared error. So this is for us data analytics people and this is what we usually call root mean squared errors. So race is basically root mean squared error where we take the errors, we square them, then we average them and take the square root of that average. So when you see race down here in this result, you should be thinking to yourself, that's what our root mean squared error actually is. On average, we're within 1319 of the actual price of a car. Okay, so now we want to eliminate the variables that were not helpful, and we want to see if our model stays as good or better. So we can go back up to our effects summary and we can edit this and remove the things that we don't want. So we're going to remove doors, air conditioning, tow bar, and metallic paint. So we will now go to our doors. I'm holding my command key down. If I was Windows, I'd hold my control key down and I'm going to select the things that we want to remove. So we want air conditioning, we want doors, we want tow bar, and metallic paint, and we want those out of there because they are st not statistically significant. So you can see that I've selected all of these, and then I'll hit the delete button, and they are no longer in that list. 
and then I will commit my saves. All right, so now we look up here and we can see that all these effects are statistically significant. All right, and then we want to go down and we can see that it's re-estimated the parameter coefficients. So that's good, and these again are all statistically significant. And then if we look down here in our evaluation then, how did we do? Well, our, we still have some overfitting, and, but our race, our root mean squared error is 1319 in the validation set, and that actually is about exactly the same as what we had before. So basically what we have is uh, before on the results when we had all the variables in there, this was 1319.9, uh, so it's about the same. And then it was also 0.8658, so our R squared is the same, and our basically our root mean squared error is exactly the same. So we have a simpler model, and we're getting just as good a results after we remove the non-statistically significant variables. Now, I had to remove those, and either R squared went down or race went up, so we want our high R squares, we want our low race then we would consider putting those back in and we would figure out which one of those are contributing to our power, our ability to estimate and which ones did not. So eliminating non-significant variables does not always make things better. Often it will make things as good, occasionally they'll get better, but if things get worse then we should add stuff back in until we get the best estimates possible and less simplicity in our modeling is really, really important for the application that we're in.